So hi guys, uh, this is Rikista. I'm going to do a voiceover. So I bought two Decas floating water for the reason of having heat dissipation. And yeah, I'm going to unbox it now. Right, so fresh out of the box. It really looks so sick. And to be honest, bro, this is really, really good, bro. And the uh, stainless steel is the main rotor at the outer. And the inside is the alloy 7075. And that's a T6 hardness. And this is made by Decas. But yeah, to be honest, this is actually a rebranded um, rotor. So yeah, either way, either way, I'm going to install it on my bike right now. So since I'm installing it right now, um, the reason why I told you earlier that I think this is rebranded, uh, I have seen similar design, if not identical, under a different brand. So yeah, and since it's from China, I don't think it's really avoidable or in, uh, inevitable, I think. So yeah. And the reason why I pick floating rotors and I especially pick Decas to be there. Um, the brake caliper that I'm using is actually a hydraulic brake caliper that is cable actuated and the brake pads that came with it doesn't support any fins at all so hoping with this floating rotor I'm actually having a hard time saying rotor 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 I have no idea either way so with this kind of rotor I was hoping for a better hit dissipation so hopefully with this the hydraulic mineral oil within the caliper will not boil and lose power so yeah hopefully oh another thing originally I was planning to have 180 millimeter on the front and at least 160 at the back but yeah, well, budget reasons, you know, you gotta have to cut corners at times needed. So yeah, I've been rocking 160 both front and back. And aside from that, hopefully I'll be able to use this on trails in the future, hopefully within a year, yeah. But though I'll be using this mostly on the road. So yeah, I'm probably going to do a really good test with this rotor. Well, as you can see, I was able to finish the front rotor. So yeah, we're going to do the back now, off camera. So guys, uh, I was able to finish the front and the back as well installing those rotors but uh, I have a problem earlier um, the rear brake bracket I actually broke it I got those bolts loose thread so I have to change it with a different one and I used the old bolts from my old mechanical setup and yeah this is from IS to post mount so yeah I just changed a few things so now as you can see it's all fixed and done and the 160 mil rotor actually looks a lot larger than it is so here at the front I also did something I removed certain spacer like top and bottom and as you can see there's no brake bracket kind of thing so nah. this is already post mount so you don't need that I just need to add extra spacers if you want to add some bigger rotors. So yeah, I'm probably going to test this out, how it's going to perform or if everything is actually working properly. So yeah, I'm going to test that in a different video probably in the afternoon. So yeah, I'm going to tell you guys what I have in my mind. So yeah, you guys, so thank you for watching and that's it for now because I'm going to do the testing video on a separate one so yeah that will be just kind of a, a short reaction video about the the brakes and of course the floating rotors that we're actually in highlight of so yeah that's all for now I'm gonna do a different video on the next so see you in the next video bye for now peace
Jangan saya.